Hey everyone, today we're diving into one of the biggest, most influential country artists out there, Garth Brooks. His career has been nothing short of a wild ride. From humble, small town beginnings in Oklahoma, to selling more albums than any other solo artist in US history, to walking away from it all, to be a father, and staging an epic comeback years later, he has really done it all. Garth and his wife, Trisha Yearwood, are one of the most powerful couples in country music, with a reported combined net worth of $400 million. So of of course, the homes they live in are pretty impressive. The couple has called Nashville home since 2015 after relocating from a $3.5 million mansion in Oklahoma, where they lived to be closer to Garth's three daughters after his history-making divorce from his first wife. Garth Brooks' story is the ultimate rags to riches to taking a step back to family first to rich again tale of chasing your dreams without wavering. You know, the kind of story that makes us say, I've got friends in low places, but they've got Garth in higher ones. Garth was actually born a few hours away from Oklahoma in Tulsa in 1962. Music was quite literally in his blood, with a mom who was briefly on Capitol Records herself in the 50s. Still, young Garth wasn't fully focused on tunes early on. He was an athlete in track and field before eventually landing at Oklahoma State on a sports scholarship. It was here that he linked up with the guitarist Buddy, and they started playing gigs at local bars and clubs, just planting those first seeds of what would grow into an uncertain unstoppable career. After graduating in 1984, the hustle continued as Garth tried and failed to crack into the Nashville scene initially. In classic pursue your dreams fashion though, he circled back a few years later. And let's just say the rest is history. 1989 saw Garth's debut album drop, setting the stage for an absolute onslaught of number one hits, record breakers, and history makers. Who could forget classics like Friends in Low Places from 90s No Fences, which was the first country album to top the Billboard 200. Just a game changer for the whole genre, crossing over to the mainstream in a way few before him had. After taking over the country music scene, what did Garth do? He walked away, calling it quits in 2001 to be a hands-on dad after divorcing his first wife, putting family first just like that. Luckily for fans, wife number two, fellow country singer Trisha Yearwood, had other plans. Once his youngest was 18, Trisha helped coax the legend out of retirement in the late 2000s for an epic comeback run. Complete with a smash Las Vegas residency, another record-breaking world tour, and all the awards you could dream of, Garth made it happen again. Now, since I am sure you're wondering, let's talk about his history-making romances. I'm talking about the split heard around the world between Garth Brooks and his first wife, college sweetheart, Sandy Mall. You see, their romance began in the most bizarre of ways back in the 80s. Garth first locked eyes on the future Mrs. Brooks after she got her hand stuck punching through the wall of a bar bathroom. Well, they bonded over shared musical dreams, got hitched in 1986, and before they knew it, Garth's career had exploded into megastardom just a few years later. Sandy stood by her man's side every step of the way, becoming his emotional anchor through it all as the hits kept coming. Friends in low places sold out arena tours, prestigious honors. By the mid 90s, they were living a real life fairy tale, complete with three adorable daughters. But as Garth's white hot star continued burning brighter, the strain of his insane schedule and endless time on the road started weighing heavily on his home life with Sandy. The fairy tale facade soon began crumbling. In Sandy's own words, the couple simply grew apart really, really quickly during those grueling years. The endless work obligations, long stretches away on tour, it all proved too much for their high school sweetheart romance. And so in 2000, after 15 years of marriage and three kids together, Garth and Sandy decided to throw in the towel and end their storybook union for good. Just like that, it was over. Of course, when you're as wealthy and famous as Garth was at that time, getting divorced isn't as simple as signing some papers down at the courthouse. Oh no, this thing, it was dramatic. We're talking court battles, heated negotiations, and ultimately one of the biggest celebrity divorce settlements ever. But despite that wildly lucrative settlement, both Garth and Sandy have worked super hard over the years to keep their relationship as amicable as humanly possible, especially when it comes to co-parenting their daughters. In fact, Garth recently opened up for the first time about his deepened love and level of respect for his ex after hearing her side of what went wrong in their marriage. 
But where one storybook love story ended, another incredible romance was just getting started for our country king. You see, even as Garth was becoming one of the biggest entertainers on the planet, in the 90s he actually first crossed paths with his future second wife, Trisha Yearwood. Trisha is a fellow country singer, and over a decade earlier, when they were just two struggling Nashville newcomers, they actually crossed paths. The stars aligned when they worked together during a demo session back in 1987, just a year after Garth tied the knot with Sandy. Trisha says she felt an immediate connection, later admitting I had no idea he would turn out to be Garth Brooks. At the time, Garth was committed to making his marriage to Sandy work, so these two soulmates were forced to keep things platonic as friends, and they ended up being frequent collaborators over the next 13 years. You know what they say though, if you love something, set it free, and if it's meant to be, it'll find its way back to you. Because just a couple years after his devastating divorce, the universe finally brought Garth and Trisha's romantic sparks back together in the most meant to be way. They said themselves there was just an undeniable magnetic pull between them as soon as Garth was officially a single man again in the early 2000s. It was like 15 years of built up friendship and mutual admiration from their early Nashville days blossomed into a full full-fledged fairy tale romance. In 2005, four years after his split from Sandy, Garth and Trisha made things official by tying the knot in a private Oklahoma ceremony. The bride's simple statement perfectly captured the magic of the moment, saying we could not be happier, it's the perfect Christmas gift to each other. Over the next decade plus and counting, whenever you saw Garth Brooks, you saw Trisha Yearwood, his trusted duet partner, opener on tour, and promotional co-pilot. Now let's take a look at the incredible homes that have played host to all the milestones in Garth and Trisha's lives. We're talking multi-million dollar mega mansions fit for country music royalty. From the house that saw Garth's historic rise to superstardom, to the sanctuary where Trisha filmed countless episodes of her show, Trisha's Southern Kitchen. Well, we will start in Owasso, Oklahoma, a small town about an hour outside of Tulsa that ended up playing host to a huge chapter of Garth's storied life and career. This incredible 14,000 square foot, seven bed, 9.5 bathroom French country style mansion is where Garth shacked up after his 2000 and one divorce from Sandy. At a staggering $3.5 million price tag, it was the perfect refuge to regroup and refocus on being a hands-on dad to his three daughters while still laying relatively low. Can you imagine the pivotal family memories made here as the Brooks girls grew up and Garth prepared for his massive comeback? Sleepovers, birthdays, backyard barbecues, this place was their true home until Garth's youngest headed off to college and he decided to make good on a promise. That promise? To return to Tennessee with Trisha once his parenting duties allowed it. A deal that they made when first becoming a couple in 2005. Now let's head East and check out the lavish Nashville Palace Trisha called home for over two decades. This house saw her blossom from rising star to country queen next door. We're talking 6,500 square feet of resort level luxury on a massive 4.5 acre lot in the area's most prestigious Brentwood neighborhood. Five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a pool, all you can imagine. More importantly, this $4.5 million property is where Trisha achieved many of her big career milestones. For 11 seasons, her popular food network show Trisha's Southern Kitchen called this place home base, filming right in her stunning state-of-the-art main kitchen that any home chef would dream of. You know all those iconic scenes of Trisha whipping up her mouth-watering recipes while trading banter with celebrity guests like Reba and Kelsey Ballerini? Well, they happened right here. But even beyond its television fame, this Nashville sanctuary was the sentimental backdrop for over two decades of Trisha and Garth's lives together as a couple. We're talking holidays, family gatherings, private date nights, major career celebrations, you name it, they lived it all here. In Trisha's own words while listing the property in 2023, everyone who entered the house felt that sense of welcome and sanctuary. So many unforgettable chapters in their love story permanently set in these walls and gardens. Of course, after calling it home for 23 amazing years, Trisha knew it was time to move on to the next stage by passing the keys to someone else. 
However, it was with a heavy heart, saying it's bittersweet to sell this place that means so much to me. Currently, Garth and Trisha call Nashville home still, more specifically the area of Godlettsville, Tennessee, which is near Nashville. Their family home was actually built on land bought by Garth back in November 1990 for $432,500. After they wed, the couple spent years building a spacious property, but they only moved into this home in 2018 after Garth wrapped up his three-year comeback tour. This residence, dubbed Blue Rose Estate, occupies 5,551 square feet within a 300-acre piece of land, concealed behind a gated entrance and a lengthy driveway, ensuring the best privacy. It's made up of a total of 13 rooms, including seven bedrooms and six baths. In addition to its upscale features, the property boasts several living spaces, dining areas, a swimming pool, a spa, a 1,500 square foot garage, and a 746 square foot basement. Wow, what a journey we just went on through the incredible homes and real estate empire of Garth Brooks and his wife, Trisha Yearwood. From their humble beginnings to those jaw-dropping multi-million dollar mansions that hosted so many career moments and family milestones, their properties are just as legendary as they are. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and be sure to answer this question for me before you go. Would you have the desire to build your home from the ground up or would you prefer to purchase a dream home that's already made? Let me know in the comments and hit subscribe so you never miss a video. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer. Thank you all for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.